This lesson will look at how to set the user password policies with inside Sage CRM. You can see I've just logged on as the system administrator and I'm navigating across into the administration screens. At the individual user level, we can change and set up the user rights. So if I look at a user like Susan May, we can see that there are rights about whether uh, Susan May uh, has to uh, can, has to log on uh, and renew her password every so on. And we can see here that in this particular case, her password never expires and she's not forced to change her password uh, at the next logon. We can also control at the individual layers at level whether the user themselves can change their own password as well. But if we go to a user that has been set up so that they are obliged to uh, renew their password, we can see here that this particular user, and this is a user that I set up in an earlier training lesson, can see that their password does expire and we can see that the password expiry date has been set. Now that particular policy is governed by uh, the user configuration and we can see that that comes down into the administration, users, user configuration area and we can see that this screen is where we control the amount of days before the password expires and that's used to calculate that in, that that date that we saw in the earlier screen and uh, we can also see here the number of attempts that they're allowed to make on a particular uh, trial before they are locked out so three strikes three attempts at the password and then they're logged out now if you are using crm passwords as opposed to um, IIS auto login, then uh, we can return back here as well as the system administrator to look underneath the security area at setting password policies. Now this is specifically the types of passwords that are used by the users. And you can see that the system is divided up into considering users forming three distinct groups. Administrators, info managers, which who are the super user groups, and users with no admin rights. And the same questions are asked for each of these groups. Here we can set up and control a minimum length to the password. And once we've done that, we can open up and uh, apply additional policies. So, for example, uh, we can require a complex password uh, consisting of uh, numbers and letters to be used. We can insist that we check uh, the username. Now, if we check the username, uh, we can ensure that the password doesn't match the username and we can also go further to insist that the username can't match the reverse of the username, the first and last names, or indeed uh, any of the common substitutions or words within a dictionary held inside Sage CRM. So you can see that there is a, a complex set of rules that can be set and together when we consider the password policies and the user configuration and the individual settings for the users, this is the way in which we can set up the uh, password policies within inside Sage CRM.